In this video, I'm going to show you how I created these custom letter frames. This is a request I get often. So if you're interested in learning how to make custom Canva frames, stay tuned and I'll show you. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm starting off with a workspace that is a YouTube thumbnail. It is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And the reason why I'm choosing this specific workspace is because it's long and I can put a lot of text uh, on this workspace. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to place some text on the workspace and we're going to place it horizontally and going down on this workspace. There are a few apps with, from within Canva that will convert uh, images and letters into frame, but um, if I'm totally honest, uh, I really, I've tried a couple of them, some of them you have to pay for, and some of them don't really do the job uh, as if I were to do it myself. And that's the method that I want to share with you today. So I'm going to go over uh, to text. I'm going to place some text on my workspace. And today we're going to use a font called Modak. So I'm going to change that to Modak. And I'm going to start in here by typing the letters. So I'm going to type A, an uppercase A, and then a lowercase A. And I'm just going to make that, um, you know, an, uh, a size that's a little bit bigger like that. And I'll leave that there. Uh, now, what I can do is continue. Um, let me just change the alignment to left aligned. And I'm going to continue by doing a capital B and uh, a lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c. And I'm going to go on and on until I created the whole alphabet in uppercase and lowercase. And I'll be right back. Before I continue on in this process, I just want to ask one thing. Uh, if you learned anything in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like and that subscribe button. And if you're interested in learning more about how to create frames and just want to learn more about Canva and the things that you can do in Canva, join my membership because I go live every single Tuesday to teach my adult learners what they want to learn. So click that join button. Okay. Um, okay. I'll be right back. All right. So I am all done creating my um, letters. So I've got A all the way to Z. Hopefully I haven't missed a letter. Uh, in this um, series. Uh, so we're going to go or continue to the next step, which is we're going to download this as an SVG. And um, so we'll, I'll come over to share and I'm going to go to download. And you'll notice that this area for sharing a design has changed slightly. Uh, it looks like Canva is still making changes with their 2024 rollout. So uh, but in any case, we're going to go to the download button and we're going to download this as a PNG. There is no need to click any of these other uh, buttons and we're going to download both pages. So I'm going to click download and that's going to download it into a zip folder. OK, so we're going to go over to that zip folder. I'll open up my files. And I'll bring my um, folder here. I'm going to go to downloads and here is that zipped folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract everything that's in there. And you should get this pop up right here. I'm just going to say extract and that will extract it into uh, another a new folder that's literally called the same thing. OK, I'm going to open up that folder and here is uh, are those two designs in a PNG format. We're now going to scoot over to a website called Convert.io and Convert.io is free to use and it is really amazing. I'm just going to go back to say convert more files. I was in here previously and so I'm going back to the home screen. This is the home screen. And I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to grab both of these files. I can do both of them at the same time. So I'm going to grab them both and I'm going to drag them onto my screen. Now I can just come in here or I can come individually and choose what I want to convert these two files to. But I'm just going to come here and just say convert all. 
and I want to convert both of those files to vector and SVG. Now you might say, why are you doing this step? Because uh, text is already in SVG format in Canva, and you can just download that SVG format right from Canva. Well, it's because I don't trust that process. This is the process that I trust, and this is the process that I follow every single time to create my custom frames. But if you want to give the other method a try, you're more than welcome to do so, okay? Um, so I'm going to click my convert button right now. And once it's done, I'll get a blue button that says download. And I'll have to download the, those individually. And it'll the button will be right here for each file. Now there is a limit to how many files you can convert with convert IO, but I don't do very many a day. So it, this um, method works fine for me. All right, so we are finished. And what we're going to do now is we're going to download each file. All right, we're now going to open up Microsoft Word. And for this step, you need the desktop version of Microsoft Word. If you have an Office 365 account, just go to your account settings and download the desktop version, okay? So I've opened up Microsoft Word, and I'm just going to create a blank document. Now, a lot of people get confused at this step. They think that we can just um, go to File and open up those two SVG documents that we downloaded from Convert.io, but we cannot. Um, we have to actually import them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert. We're going to go to Pictures, and we're going to insert a picture from. So I'm going to click this device. And I'm going to go uh, locate those two files. So here the, they are. I don't think I can, um, well, maybe I can. So I'm going to bring both of those files into Microsoft Word, and I'll just say insert. OK, so here they are. And now you can select them one at a time, or you can select both of them. So I'll do one at a time, because that's probably what you're going to do too. So notice on the left side, there is a convert to shape icon. So I'm going to convert that uh, to a shape. And we now need to do this one. And um, uh, now that button is not coming up again. So what we're going to do, and that's what happens if you click outside the box, um, or you do one, and then you come back and you want to do another one, you're not going to see that icon there. But don't worry, just go to graphics, and we're going to see that uh, option again. It's convert to shape. So we're going to click that, and that will convert these to a shape as well. OK, so our next step is actually to place an image inside of those frames. And what um, Word has actually done, if I just click outside, is it's um, created a frame for every single letter. So it's kind of separated every single letter as its own text box. That's what it does. So each one of these letters is going to be its own individual frame. So in any case, I'm, I've got everything selected here. I'm going to go to shape format. And what we need to do now is we need to fill those um, letters that are ready to become frames with a picture. So I'm going to scroll down to picture. And I'm going to use a stock image. You can use any image, even one that you have on your or in your files. So I'm going to click this image right here and I'm going to say insert and that will fill all of those letters with that image. So I'm now going to do the same thing with this down here. I'm going to go to shape format. I'm going to go to shape fill. And I'm going to fill it with a picture. And again, it doesn't matter what image I choose, it's going to fill it. OK, so we're now ready to bring this back into Canva. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Save As. And we're going to go to, I'm going to change the path where it's being saved to Downloads. And I'm going to call this Modac. Letter frames. And I'm also going to change the file type to PDF. 
Okay, and I'll click the Save button, and that should save that file in my Downloads folder. Now, I just want to go back a second just to uh, clarify something. Um, the reason why we placed an image inside of the frames is because we need to kind of uh, create that placeholder inside those text boxes so that when we bring it into Canva, we can uh, place another image in place of the image that we're uh, placing in the letters now in Microsoft Word, okay? Um, so that's just a little bit of background. Let's go back to Canva. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to add another page and I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to go to my downloads. And this is the PDF that I just created in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to drag it right onto my workspace. And you'll see it's uploading right there. Okay, I'll go to projects and I'm going to click this document right here, which is my a PDF document with those letter frames. So I'll click that <clears throat> and that will place um, that entire document on my workspace. Now immediately I'm noticing at the bottom that um, the letters at the bottom are actually one frame and the reason that that has happened is because those two letters were so close together that they were actually touching. And so Word couldn't uh, distinguish that they were two individual frames. And I did the same with the X here and the Y and the Z. So to avoid that, and if that happens to you, then what you'll want to do is you'll want to just come back in here and maybe you'll want to just um, increase the kerning for the letter spacing just to make sure that those letters are not touching. Okay. <clears throat> so don't do what I did do it better. Um, so here are our letters. We're back at our letters. And um, the final thing that we need to do actually is we need to release that image from these letter frames. So the way to do that is you can just press delete and that will delete that image or you can right click and go to detach image and then we can just delete that image and you would just repeat the process for all of these frames. Now, I'm not going to release all of the images from the frames, but what I will do is I'm going to take a copy of some of the letter frames and place them on a new page so that we can see exactly what it looks like when we're filling custom frames. So here are the letters I just copied They're right here. And I'm actually going to spell a word. I'm going to spell the word Anna. Okay, so here are those letter frames. And because they're individual, we can just place any graphic uh, in there. So let's look for some flower um, backgrounds, okay? So I can place that in there. I can place that in there. I can place that in there. And let's place this in there. Now, um, and we can also make them taller. We can rotate them. And the other thing that we can also do is we can also add a border. So if we come up here, we can turn on borders and we can add any border that we wanted, any color. So let's um, choose this nice green color for all of them. And we can also just uh, select the letter and go to copy style and copy the style of that outline. 
All right, so that is pretty much it on how to create custom letter frames. Uh, by the way, I do have a gift coming out in September, and the only way you're going to know how to find it is if you subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on. So if you learned anything in this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know more about Canva digital products, uh, how you can create them and how you can make more Canva uh, frames or frames to use with Canva, join my membership. It's that button right next to my channel name. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, uh, if there's anything else you want to learn, drop it in the comments. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.